Well, hello everyone, and it's that time again. It's time for a giveaway! I was hoping to do this giveaway when I reached a thousand subs, but that's taken forever. So, I'm just going to do it now. I can't be bothered waiting any longer. Um, I'm going to be giving away a full copy of Total War Warhammer 2 and we're going to talk about that first because that's probably the main reason why most people are here and interested in this video. As always my giveaway is a thank you to my subs, it's an opportunity for my subs to have a chance to win something and so like always to be entered you just need to be a subscriber, you need to be a visible subscriber in your YouTube settings. So as long, if you're not sure, as long as I don't get like 4 million people asking, like, oh, can you check see if you can see me? I'm not quite sure if my YouTube settings are done right. Then feel free to leave a comment asking if you can be seen. Then after that, once you're a subscriber, all you need to be is, well, all you need to do is leave a comment below confirming you're interested in winning a copy of Total War Warhammer 2. Now, it will be a Steam copy with the pre-order, or well, pre-purchase bonus of the DLC for the first game. And we are going to be giving away... A, the giveaway is going to be until the 4th of July. Tuesday the 4th of July, some point in the morning, probably about 9am, I'm going to be taking a look at all the people that confirmed their comments in the comments below, checking their subscriber, well, selecting someone to win at random, I normally just go, right, there's 60 comments, I'll roll a dice, and if it's a 1, it's in the first 10 comments, if it's a 2, it's in the next 20, and I just do something random, pull names out of hat, I've done it various ways over the many giveaways I've had, I just randomise it somehow, there's actually quite a handy site you can just put a ton of names into or whatever into and then just like pick me one at random and it's like here here's one i've used that a couple of times too i can't remember what it's called though but yes it will be completely random so as long as you confirm saying below like yes i'd love a copy of this game you're entered and then when i've selected the winner someone will be well that person i'll confirm they're a subscriber which can take two or three days to show up so if you are a new subscriber and you do want me to confirm that I can see you in my subscriber list. Don't be too worried if I can't see you at first. I'll check again in two or three days time. And I'll do the same once the giveaway is over in case the person subscribed like a day before. But yes. Full copy of the game. Huge giveaway. Super hyped. I really, really love the look of Total War Warhammer 2. I really, 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 really can't wait to bring content to the channel. Which brings us on to the next piece of thing we're going to talk about here. Words are escaping me. And that is... I was wanting to do a co-op campaign when the game is released. And... I was thinking, hmm... Co-op campaign. Who should the other person in the campaign be? Well, I probably should find someone to collab with, shouldn't I? A YouTuber roughly the same size as me collab with them, mutual benefit from us both. That would be the logical explanation and the logical thing to do. The thing that I'm sure all of you will agree that any YouTuber should do. But then I thought, no. No. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I always talk about how I want to give as much back to my community as possible. How they're the main sort of focus of this. And because... The community is the main focus of my videos and content and all that sort of thing. It, to me, it makes more sense for me to have gone to the community, found a pillar of the community, and said, do you want to be in the co-op slot? Which is what I've done. I've contacted him. He is up for it. He wants to be in it. He doesn't want to record his own side, so... You're not going to be getting his perspective, so to speak, on his channel, unless he changes his mind if he wants to then record his own side and have his perspective up. It's just going to be mass perspective only, but you're going to be able to see the two of us. It'll be a co-op campaign in every other means and sense. So if you've watched co-op campaigns before, it's 
you're only watching one YouTuber, you're not watching the two, which some people, most people just watch the one anyway, they don't watch the two. But that's the kind of thing I'm talking about here and I'm rambling. Um, yeah, logic, words. And, oh yeah, I haven't even said who it is yet, have I? But yeah, I'm pretty sure most people agree. Kanuovi. He is, he comments on the majority of my videos, he talks, his feedback is always good. He's always happy to talk to other members of the community. He's... When it comes to my Total War Warhammer comment, he is the pillar of the community. And he is the best sort of representative, always there, doing tons to support me by like commenting, thumbs up, whatever. He was definitely the best choice by far. So yeah, there's me putting my money where my mouth is. Now the last thing I want to talk about in this video, apart from the huge giveaway, giveaway, giveaway um, at the beginning, is what content do you guys want to see when the game is released? We're going to have our faction vote here and there should be a little eye in the top corner of the top right corner of the screen where you can click on it and when it comes out there will be a poll. And in this poll there will be an option and you get one vote. You can change your vote at any time, so feel free to change your mind and click, hey, you know what, I don't quite fancy that. Or, I suppose there even is the option of strategic voting. Ugh, strategic voting, there's something that is frowned upon or loved, depending on which way you look at it. Um, so, say you can see the guy, say you desperately wanted a high elf campaign, but you see no one else is voting for them. But you desperately don't want a Dark Elf campaign. You don't like the Dark Elves. You like the High Elves. But you see the Dark Elves and the Lizard Men are neck and neck. You can then take your vote off the High Elves and put it on the Lizard Men. And then go, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah that's strategic voting. So yes, that is possible. You may do that if you want. I'm not going to, well, I don't have the power to stop you. That is an option for you. Um, so yeah, top right corner. The way the vote is going to work is I'm going to have the option there for Techless and I'm going to have the option there for Tyrion. But one of them, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to add there, because the way it's done is you see a percentage. So say Tyrion has 10% of the votes, Techless has 15% of the votes. To choose what faction wins, I'm going to add them together so then High Elves would have 25% of the vote. And then, obviously, I'm like, High Elves won, and Tyrion was the higher of the two, so it's a High Elf Tyrion campaign. But say, Lizard Men, Mazda Mundi had 20 votes, and Kropgar had 1% of the votes. Together, that's 21. So even though Mazda Mundi on his own beats Tyrion and on his own beats Techless. When you add the two together, that's only 21%. So the High Elves would win and it'd be Tyrion, even though Mazda Mundi specifically got more votes. So if you see what I'm saying, I'm adding the percentages together. And it's just so that you'd... It's just so if you want to just vote for High Elves, it doesn't really matter which one you click on. Or you just want... It's just so that there is no... Ringing, like say, ah, uh, I can't describe it. It's just so you, if you don't want to vote for a lord, you're just voting for a faction, then you just can click on either one. It's basically what I'm saying. You don't need to worry about one legendary lord being way higher than yours and having to strategic vote around that. So it's just the two high of legendary lords get their percentages added together, and then the two lizard men lords get their percentages added together, and it's the race with the highest then, and then it goes down to thingy, which I'm spending way too long to explain this, which is pretty self-explanatory once I've said my basic guidance and rules for the faction vote. So yes, that is up in the top corner. As well as that, so that's us talked about the co-op campaign, which we'll be hoping to get out in the first week. I'm not sure when we'll have it out. I doubt we'll be able to get together on the first day, but the first week, look for that to start of Total War Warhammer 2. The faction vote will definitely be going up on release day and there will also be a third campaign that is 100% my choice. So we've got the one voted in, then we've got my choice and then we've got the co-op. So that's three campaigns all starting off the bat, well, 
basically off the bat. Depends on the co-op campaign when we can first get together and start recording it. So yes, I have rambled on. I have talked a lot. I have talked way too much. Um, hope you've all enjoyed this. Super hype for the giveaway. Comment down below. Um, two weeks today. Two weeks today the giveaway ends. Hope you've all enjoyed this and are looking forward to the content. I, I just rambled on. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, 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 I can't even stop now. See you all next time. Bye, bye.